So, do you want the bad news first? <sighs> okay. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Um, as you can see, I'm not in the greatest of moods, but I have to deal with the consequences of my actions. So, uh, I'm not I'm not happy. I'm not angry. I'm more of somewhere in the middle, you know. So, yesterday, as I was about to start doing my reactions and stuff, and it completely threw it threw me off from actually doing my reactions um, yesterday. Um, and I talked about it a, um, a little bit in a couple of my reactions that I released yesterday. But I really wanted to come on here and do an update video um, and talk to you guys a little bit about, about this situation because if you were on my Discord, if you're not, it's fine, okay. That's why I do these videos so who does not know what's going on with the channel, they can have a idea of what's going on. You know, on Discord, you can, you know, we, we can talk about this stuff all the time. But if you can't be on Discord, that's fine. Okay. For everybody that's been joining the Discord channel, um, Discord server, I really do appreciate you guys coming over, sharing some love. Um, I mean, it's not the most active Discord in the world, of course, but we do when we're ready to talk. I, I, I love the community over there because it's so personal. You know what I'm saying? It's it's so personal. It's it's more of you know what I'm saying. If you want to talk about the shows and stuff like that, it's such. It, you feel like it's on a personal level more than just you know. It's not as public as you know. It, you get what I'm saying. It's more. It's a lot of love over there, and I can run things by people before before I do them and stuff like that. I really do appreciate that. Um, so yesterday, um, six of my videos were copyrighted. I received two copyright strikes, which is, um, two, um, three can mean termination of your channel. Um, it's a good thing that I, they, they, they um, they copyright four of the videos first and these are all all Rome reactions the two the two last ones that I upload episode seven of season two and episode eight of season two right they I don't know if it was a warning shot which is what I'm thinking the first four was a warning shot and when they realized I wasn't doing anything like I wasn't deleting the rest of them or taking them down they decided to go ahead and and give me another warning shot, right? And I felt like if I had went to sleep and woke up, my channel would not be here today. So I went ahead after that second copyright strike, I went ahead and I deleted every single um, video that had to do with HBO, including the Game of Thrones videos. The reason why I did is, if you guys have noticed, you can go and check, they're all gone. I've deleted every single one of them. I didn't save them or anything. I didn't save the reactions or anything because I'm not going to spend the time to upload them to the Google Drive or on BitChute. None of that. Whatever. Time has passed. Um, anybody who wants to see, you know, my thoughts on Game of Thrones, I can go and record season reviews which there already there are already season reviews on the channel i didn't delete those um i think i've i think there's a couple of seasons i never did a specific video review for those seasons maybe i'll go back and do those just to have them on the channel just in case people ask me where did my game of thrones reactions go i've deleted them all i don't want to have nothing to do with hbo at this point Okay, 
Um, so let me, you know, let me go into it and let me show you guys that I'm, you know, that I'm, I'm not joking around. I'm not, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is serious and I have talked to you guys in the past and I've told you that if this ever happens, if this ever happens, I will not hesitate to take those videos down. I will not hesitate to take them down because um, the format that I have over here is pretty safe for for the time being. That's why I hesitate so much with putting content on YouTube and I just do intro review. You go somewhere else and watch it because the most they can do when it comes on to my Google Drive because it's a cloud service, the most that they can do is top people from viewing the video over there that's the most they can do they can't copyright strike me on the google drive they can't copyright strike the video because the video doesn't include the content so in a way it's a work around the system you get what i'm saying um as i said the most they can do is block the video which they have done before on the google drive that's the most that you know Google YouTube that they can do is block people from going to that link and viewing the video um, and really all I have to do is just download the video and re-upload it to, to the Google Drive again and anybody is able to see it again until they decide to block it again which is not a problem it's not so much of an issue than them coming on YouTube want to take legal action and all of this other stuff if you try to dispute it okay so and you you know when it comes on to copyright infringement it's an extremely hard thing to win when you're the one infringing it's not an easy thing you know what i'm saying so i'm not gonna bust out i'm not gonna call my lawyers to tell them oh i'm doing you <laughs> i'm not doing youtube and all of this other stuff so let's let me show you guys the status of the channel right now because maybe you guys think i'm joking you know what i'm saying they're not um right in the space of a day okay in the space of a day this is what happened okay so let's go over here for a second and see still have my berserk stuff up Just don't pay that no mind right as you can see here this is the status of the channel right two copyright strikes and let me go and show you see all roam so before and, and it was listen it was removed by hbo it was removed by somebody else where i can say okay they do allow you to do 10 minutes right but they strike the entire episode if they had left one of the parts which they didn't they struck the entire episode see episode seven they did part two part three part one and part four it was four parts right listen guys i'm telling you this right now i am not here to make it seem like i was doing something right overall and they have no precedence for doing this. And that's why I say I'm somewhere in the middle because it's not something I wanted to do in the first place because I know um, what, it's, what it's like to have your content stolen. Now, saying that, I do have some grievances with this because they could have contact they could have contacted me and this is what i this is what um youtube needs to do instead of letting people um in 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 a way i'm thinking about other people which is what i it, it's it's like a weird thing with me where it's like when things happen to me i start thinking about other people first <laughs> you know what i'm saying like how does it affect them you know what i mean and the first thing i started thinking about was reaction channels that go through this stuff all the time right and youtube is not 
my means of living. You know what I'm saying? And I know some reaction channels that they quit their jobs to just do reactions and build your channel on reactions. You have many a YouTubes that are YouTubers that are, you know, they have millions of subscribers right now that their channel is a reaction channel, right? And they're having this fight. And as soon as the video get claimed, they take it down or they try to re-record it, re-upload it, delete audio, do this is so much, right? And you know, I recorded a video about this yesterday and it was like an hour long and I say, you know what, let me not do so much and just get to the point because I was just really just just talking yesterday. So now I feel like I have the bullet points as to what I really wanted to say from listening back to it. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, so today I can be a little bit more precise. I've calmed down a bit and just really thought about this thing and you know hopefully um they realize that you know like i took their videos down so they'll leave me alone okay so if you want to know what's going to happen with the rome reactions i'm going to finish up the last two episodes but they will be on the google drive and bit shoot okay so if you can't view it on the Google Drive, it will be on BitChute for you to watch, okay? As I've been doing before, which is from now on, I'm really not going to put anything on YouTube again. Um, I'm just not going to do it. It's, it's too much. It's too much. And, you know, I have an idea. And you guys can tell me if this would be a good idea. Because one of the things that... I noticed that a lot of YouTubers do when it comes on to reactions and stuff and when they get copyrighted and stuff like that, you know, they'll come on and they, they're super upset. And, you know, I've always said, you know, that they shouldn't be so upset about these things because the content doesn't belong to you. When something belongs to you, you don't want somebody else to come in and do whatever they please with it especially take you what you created and make money off of it and you're not getting any kickback take this from somebody who's been in business for years it's not a nice thing when somebody does that to you you know a lot of people they take it for granted yes i want you to eat too don't get me wrong i would love for you to eat too but instead a lot of these a lot of these companies what i think they should do is to you know talk to youtube and and this is not going to go away reactions are not going to go away see me in in business this is how i operate i look at everything no matter how negative it is as an opportunity that's how i operate in business so every little thing that i see whether it be negative I look at it as an opportunity. So if somebody takes something I create and use it without my permission, I am not going to try to sue that person. I'm not going to try to destroy that person. What I do is try to get a meeting with that person to tell them what they have done wrong and make a deal with them. Because obviously they wouldn't try to do this to you unless they in some way some form or fashion like what you do you get what i'm saying even though technically they stole it you get what i'm saying it's still an opportunity for you to look that person in the eye and say let's do business together so you you like my stuff okay you can use it but i have to get a kickback off of it you get what i'm saying so we keep the ball rolling. We keep the money rolling. Everything look at look at it as an opportunity. And this is how I operate in business, guys. Right? So this is what I'm... Although I know a ton of people is not going to see this video, I think this is something that pretty much... I think all the companies 
that have their content on YouTube should be doing because it's a huge platform. It's a way for you to make to, to make money. Right. I'm not saying go 50 50, even if you want to say 60 40 as a as a percentage. And, and you know, you kick the YouTuber 40 percent on advertising and, and revenue that they gain off of this. Right. You get what I'm saying? Create a better a, a limit. Right. Not just the 10 minutes. Or, you, you get what I'm saying? Like for anime, you can say, OK, you can upload um you know half of the episode in, in you get what i'm saying half of the episode right because if they allow me if they allow me to do that on youtube i would do it and forget about the, the, the um doing full reactions i would dedicate the time to do it because that way it's on the platform everything is on the platform which is something i want to do but i can't do it the only reason why I do full reactions is because it saved me so much time on editing. My full reactions, I could just record them, upload them, record them, upload them. I don't have to edit the thing unless I mess up and do something stupid. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like doing something stupid on camera. You get what I'm saying? That I wouldn't want you guys to see, you know what I'm saying? Um, accidentally, maybe I have my, my logged into my bank account and my, my browser and, and, you know, too freaking lazy and not paying attention to take it down before I start recording. And it might come up in the video accidentally clicking the browser or something like that, because it has happened before and I had to go in and edit it. Right. It's, it's what I'm trying to say is that they need to i think they should make a deal and I, I and and that's just my opinion that's just my opinion i know a lot of people is probably going to have their own opinion about this and you know so just leave those comments in the comment section i'm i'm happy to answer any question um or if you if you guys disagree with that idea you know what i'm saying or what your idea would be please leave it in the comment section um because i i, I think that a lot of things could be solved if we don't concentrate so much on the negativity. Now, you come and you destroy somebody's living. Like me, I have no problem doing this because in in a way, it doesn't affect me that much. I was upset initially because I had to deal with taking, I had to go and take down all these videos. I was upset, right? Because it's, it's it was over 100 videos I had to take down. So, because Game of Thrones alone was a lot, it was a lot of videos, because I was doing, at in Game of Thrones, I was doing like four or five parts, I think season seven, episode seven was seven parts, you know what I'm saying? So, it was a lot of videos I had to take down. So, I was upset initially, but then when I, did what I do in everything is I calm down and I go through my thought process of it all. And try to come up with a rational solution. You know. So. In terms of these things man. I know. I know it's not. I know it's not easy for other YouTubers out there. That are getting copyright claimed. Um, for you know. Two three seconds of music. And foolishness like that. Like that stuff they need. To figure out. Because I'm. Th you know, I was thinking about it and I was like, listen, if people can't use the platform in a certain way, they're going to start leaving the platform. They, they're going to start killing the channels that are making them the most money are forcing people to become makeup tutorial channels, which is, you know, pretty much, you know, in certain ways, you know, either you vlogging or you know makeup tutorials because i mean even the gaming community is having problems uploading stuff now and which never used to happen i remember back in the day you could do anything with with gaming um with gameplay videos and and put them up nowadays you know what i'm saying you know when you talk about the mortal kombat um the mortal kombat community um nk mk11 just dropped and they can't upload you know the the um what do you call them the oh my god why am i drawing a blank right now and, and i pretty much watch those videos 
so much because I love that game so much. But and I, I haven't played it because I don't have time to play it like other people. Um, um, the, the the what do they call it like brutalities, fatalities, and stuff like that. But you know, crushing blows and and all of this other stuff that you know shows blood and stuff like that, right? Like those those things they can't upload it to YouTube as is. I mean, they came up with a solution to color fill to change the color filter because the, the red was, you know, was being recognized by the algorithm as blood and stuff like that. Um and it's, you know, blocking it or people are claiming it or, you know what I'm saying, they got to download, re-upload and all of this other stuff that they have to go through um dealing the stuff that they got to deal with that they never used to have to deal with back back in the day now youtube is all about protecting their sponsors and 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 i'm telling you guys that this is not going to last very long another thing that i want to talk about and touch base on is they know how to make deals i know this because i don't know if you guys realize recently that there's a there's a a huge spurt of celebrities on YouTube and you guys might think oh they oh, oh they just got up one day and decided to start a YouTube channel no those are deals being made YouTube is bringing celebrities onto the platform and giving them the premium ads you know promising them all of this stuff because for what other reason would I be a be making tens of millions hundreds of millions of dollars and i decided to start a youtube channel and have cameras follow, follow me. like that's what i want to do other than for the fact of making more money why else would i do youtube why else would i put myself out there like that when my life is already so public guys you get what i'm saying these are deals being made. So they know how to make deals. They know how to sit people down and say, hey, do this. I mean, the recent one that I've seen is Jack Black. Dude went to 3 million subscribers in, in what, like three days? I think it was. It was, you get you get what I'm saying? And, you know, then the whole thing about with the YouTube Rewind last year, what they had Will Smith do, um, featured pretty much and they were like what about the real creators that have been here for five ten years what about them why why the people were actually making you money you get what i'm saying the people who are making you money were not featured you get what i'm saying i mean even pewdiepie the biggest youtuber on the platform right was was upset about this Right. So I'm just saying, guys, like I, I think in a few years or so, um, you know, maybe maybe it's not going to happen next year or the year after that. But 10 years from now, YouTube is going to be a very, very different platform. It's going to be a very different platform. And it's more than likely, you know, you're only going to have the Logan Paul's. And the Jake Pauls of the world on the on the on the, on the platform. That's who that's who you're gonna have on the channel. Just vlogs and makeup tutorials, right? I mean, these people are they are knocking down anime parodies, parodies of anything. They're copy striking people's parodies. People create realistic things. You know that looks like the original but you know it's their creation right and they're getting copyright strikes for those things that they have to be fighting and and you know waiting for for months for their stuff to 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 be able to monetize it and stuff like that there's so many things wrong with the platform right now and i do believe that this is all because they need to come to some terms of agreement so that everybody can win i don't know why is it that most companies do not look at stuff like this as an opportunity youtube is one of the biggest is it's probably the biggest media platform in the world right now 
when it comes on to videos and an advertisement and all of this other stuff right right now YouTube is bigger than TV it's better to advertise on YouTube it's actually cheaper to advertise on YouTube than TV and it works the advertisement works right because you have probably billions of eyes on YouTube every day right they need to make some deals man it's what I do it's what I do when people infringe on what I do it's what I do so we keep the money train rolling if it's about money if it's not about money you know I've, I've actually went ahead and hire somebody who's an infringe on me before I've hired them you know what I'm saying what do you think what do you think the government do with hackers when they're too good do you think they lock them up no no that's not what the government do okay and I know this for the for a fact okay I know this for a fact they do not lock up people that are too good I'm not talking about murderers I'm talking about hackers they don't lock them up they make them a part of their cyber team I have a friend <laughs> I have a friend that is scrutinized on the daily on the daily he does not have a normal life like I do the freedom that I do but that's what it is oh I might just cut this out of the recording <laughs> okay so I'm just saying man we need to learn to make deals with people um, especially everybody wants somebody to go to jail today and I don't think anybody deserves to go to jail over Steve you, you know what I'm saying like watching something on you know recording yourself watching something like uh, go to jail you know what I'm saying like it's a bit over the top you know what I mean especially when you've made zero dollars off of something you know and that's why I you know I've also you know I've also spoke against in the past the the whole situation with when it comes on to reactors and they try to monetize this stuff and you know and turn the opacity down make the screen super small and stuff like that that stuff doesn't save you it's not fair use that counter it's not fair use people don't understand fair use just be prepared to have your videos taken down these things are going to happen some people escape with it forever and it's still up and i get it but that doesn't mean that they did it the right way and that's what it, my experience has been you know on here is not the fact that it's right so when they come for you just take the videos down just take the videos down as i said they i think they need to make deals with creators so that they can get a kickback and everybody can make some money and everything will be okay okay because i mean if, if if your video get if your video is getting thousands of views hundreds of thousands of views for your reactions and stuff and you make and you know your revenue off of those ads are a hundred dollars if if you the content isn't yours in the first place that you're reacting to if they say 60 40 i wouldn't have no problems with that because it's not mine it's not my content i didn't create it i'm just reacting to it right and i don't want to hear people talk about editing process and the time i spent to upload the video no it ain't your content in the first place if if the, if they if they didn't create the content you would have nothing to react to you would have to find a different talent so stop please let's be real about stuff and stop beating around the bush about it okay so I'm at 30 minutes now um, and I have to edit this so thank you guys so much for watching okay for watching hope you guys take my thoughts for what it is and understand that I'm in no way shape or form going to not finish my Rome reactions I will be um, so just look out for those to come out at some point I've kind of paused everything right now to kind of re reevaluate certain things when it comes on to the channel but everything will be back on schedule 
very soon. So thank you guys for listening as always. And I will see you guys next time on another update. Of course, make sure you go ahead and check out the stuff on the channel. So Game of Thrones and Rome reactions are off on the channel. So I'm sorry if you were in the middle of it. I'm sorry if you were in the middle of watching my reactions and then you come back and they're gone. That's just what it is. Okay. If you haven't watched episode 8 yet, I still have it. I'm going to be uploading episode 8 of season 2. So if you have not seen that, I, I'm going to be uploading that because that one I still have on my system. I wasn't going to sit down and download a hundred plus videos to re-upload again to a different platform. It wasn't going to happen. I don't have that kind of time to do that. Okay, that w it would take me forever to do that again. Okay, so I just said, yo, F it. We're done. I'm deleting them. I don't want any more copyright strike because I don't want to lose my channel. So let's just get rid of this as fast as possible. And, you know, and just make HBO happy. Okay, I don't know if they're going to go after other channels. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if it's the fact that I was doing multiple parts because they deleted the whole episode. So it has nothing to do with the parts. They just decided, yo, let's kick this dude in the butt for a second. Let him know we made business. I got the message. Okay. Hands up. Don't shoot. I got the message. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you watch this whole thing through, you know, there's some announcements coming for the channel later on. Not going to tack it on to this video. Peace.